Hi, I'm AC Flurry, and today I'm going to show you how to make pointy walls. Pointy walls are vital if you want to create a vaulted ceiling. Unfortunately, ESO doesn't give us triangles. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fudge them. These are the components you will need for a small wall. Now let me show you how to put them all together. Open the housing editor and press R to browse your inventory. Go to structures and walls and fences and select Merkmeyer wall stone. Now press the 5 key to lay the stone wall down on its side. Left click to place. Press R to put the second wall away. We don't need it for now. To make the wall easier to work with, select it with F and then press the 6 key to drop it down to ground level. Ta-da! And now I can walk on it, which will make maneuvering it so much easier. Next, open your inventory and go to dining. In dining, select tables and from tables, select the Merkmeyer table engraved. Place the table roughly in line with the wall. Left click to place and R to put the second one away. Now I'm going to use the table to extend the angle of the wall. Select the table with the precision editor and use the 5 key to raise it up a little. Now use the 4 key to bring the table closer to the wall. As you can see the alignment is not exact. Press R for angle mode. Check that units equals 0.05 and press the 2 key to straighten the angle between the table and the wall. Left click to place. Select the table again and press R to go to move mode. Now press the 2 key to slide the table over the angled part of the wall. Now use the 4 key to bring the table in towards the centre of the wall. Once the two outer edges are roughly aligned, left click to place and check the alignment from the side. If it's close, select the table again and use the 6 key to drop it down until it's at the same height as the wall. Check the alignment again. As you can see, the table is a little bit out. Press R for angle mode. Use the 2 key to adjust the angle. And left click to place. Although everything is now nicely aligned, there is still a little bit of overlap between the table and the wall. How much overlap you allow will determine the height of the point and the shape of the wall. This is what the wall looks like with a lot of overlap. This is what it looks like with none. As I want the wall to be tall and pointy, 
I'm going to reduce the overlap. To do this, select the table, make sure you're in move mode, and use the 2 key to slide the table as far as it will go. Left click to place. Now that the wall and the table are exactly where I want them, it's time to group them. Point the mouse at the wall and right click. Then point at the table and left click. Press R to confirm. You will now have to repeat the same process for the other side of the wall. I have one I made earlier. Roughly align the two straight edges of the walls and click to place. Check the alignment. It's a little bit out at the pointy end. Select the parent. Press R for angle mode and use the 4 key to change the alignment. Click to place. Select the parent again. Press R for move mode and use the 1 key to move the group to the left. Click to place. Now go to the pointy end and check the alignment. Select the parent and use the 3 key to fix the alignment. Click to place. Now go to the tip of the point and check the alignment there. The side nearest to me clearly has to go up. Select the parent and use the movement keys to align the two halves. Click to place. The wall looks good. But there's a gap where the point should be. To close the gap, select the parent. And use the movement keys to move the group to the right. You'll never get the point to be perfect because the Merkmeyer wall isn't at a right angle. But once the roof is on, you won't notice. For now, we have to group the groups so that we can manipulate the wall as one unit. Right click the first parent. This will make it the global parent. Now left click the second parent and press R to confirm. When you have a lot of components grouped together, it's sometimes hard to work out which is the parent, especially when the components are groups themselves. The easiest way I've found is to point to the components and then select the one that isn't green. Now that we know which is the parent of the wall, select it with F and then press R to change to angle mode. Now press T until units equals 15 degrees. Next, press the 2 key to raise the wall to the vertical. Click to place and check the wall from the side 
Uh oh, it's not straight. Select the parent with F and press the H key to automatically straighten the wall. And that's it. One pointy wall ready to use. Thank you for watching and goodbye.